Ingrid Goes West is uh, the debut from writer-director Matt Spicer and his, uh, wait a sec, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta tweet this. Basically, it's about the uh, vanity and vapidness of social media. The movie stars Aubrey Plaza as uh, Ingrid Thorburn. She's an unhinged social media stalker who bear maces a woman at her own wedding because she wasn't invited. But then we find out that they weren't even friends at all and that they communicated through Instagram. So after Ingrid uh, goes to a mental clinic in order to uh, sort of find herself, she finds herself with a bit of money from her uh, deceased mother and decides to move out to LA for a fresh start. There she latches on to Taylor Sloan, played by Elizabeth Olsen, one of my favorite actresses. And uh, after a little bit of uh, shady practices, Ingrid's able to ingratiate herself into Sl Taylor's perfect life. The two hit it off as good friends, but Taylor doesn't know about uh, Ingrid's past and her, uh, her mental state. This movie floored me. There's no way, other way to say it. I, the trailer's viewed as some sort of like goofy comedy, but the movie, it goes, it goes places. It, it, it's not afraid to be dark and get a little weird. And it definitely it made me very uncomfortable in, in a lot of different ways. Uh, the movie also has really relevant with the age of social media. People like to uh, put out the, their best foot forward, so they hide a lot of their own insecurities but make their life look perfect. Uh, Ingrid Goes West perfectly uh, deconstructs all this. It's very funny. It's easily Aubrey Praza's best performance she's ever done. And uh, Elizabeth Olsen is also really good as well as a really strong supporting cast. I give Ingrid Goes West a 9 out of 10.